Hello everyone, in this video I will show you our new product that is King Kony S3. The S3 means the ESP32 S3 curve board. And let's look at, uh, this is in front of it and this is the back. And this board, also you can see that support installed on the DIN rail. Just, you can install in your power distribution box, just it's very small. So you can see uh, this is the size of this box. And this one, you can see, and this one. And let's look at the, this one. Okay. And this is the forge module we have installed, but the default config is without the forge module. And also we'll have this uh, RF receive module and I will open this box and look at the PCB board in details. And we can open this screw. Okay, you can see. Just uh, this have a practical shoe, and this is inside, and we can get out uh, this part. And uh, as you can see, at the back of this part, uh, that is W5500. That is the Ethernet chip. Uh, this have uh, support by the ESP home because so this part also can use for ESP home in home assistant. And I can remove this for the module. because it's removable. So the default uh, is used by this part without forge module. This is SIM 7600 that can uh, use 4G. I uh, also have the GPS function. This have a GPS antenna socket. And in this part, you can see uh, there are some different interface. And uh, this is for the reset. And this is for download, the firmware download. This have two buttons. And you can see uh, this socket is removable. Uh, we can remove this socket. It's easy to connect with your wire. Okay, we can look at every pin defined. And this is the DC, this is power supply. Uh, that support DC 9 to 24 volt uh, DC power supply. And this have A and B, that is IS485, A and B, IS485 bus. And this have the SDA and SCL that's used by the ice currency bus and this is a three volt and this is the ground. So this is ice currency bus. So you can extend this board for many different ice currency board. Uh, for example, you can integrate this King Kony DI8. This is for the input module. So this also you can see that is ice currency SDA and SCL. So you can connect with this two board uh, for extend the input and if you want extend the output you can see so you can see this is King Kony D08 that is the digital output so this have a channel relay but it also you can see that used by ice currency bus ST and SCL so you can connect this uh, either the input or this is the output and work with this uh, small core board together that will be flexible you can extend it uh, how many channels, just it's up to you. So you can see uh, this is a 4G socket. It's a 4G socket, so you just uh, plug in, uh, just use this socket. And this one have the Ethernet, and this is USB-C for download firmware, for this USB, for this ESP32 S3. And we have used this, you can see, uh, ESP32 S3 module. And this, this is N16R8, so it's very big memory and the PS RAM. And also you can see it here, uh, that have three volt, and this temp one and temp two, that two channel one wire sensor. 
So you can connect with a temperature sensor or thermal sensor such as DS18B20 or DHT11, DHT22, just the two one wire GPIO. And this you can see ground. And this have analog input, four channel analog input, uh, just this four channel. But this time we have designed this four jump. That's four jump and four this analog input. So you can change or you can set the analog is for voltage signal or the analog is for current signal. So just use this jump. So at the left, that is input DC 0 to 5 volt uh, voltage sensor. And if you set at the right, that you can connect with the 4 to 20 milliampere analog sensor. So this can change different channel. Uh, for example, the first channel is voltage, and the second channel is current, and the third channel is voltage, or the fourth channel is current. So you can set this different channel for voltage and the current independently. So this is for analog, and this is the board. And also if you have installed this F module for 33 MHz, that's this one, uh, this is the same, so that you can use your remote. Uh, use your remote to send the IF signal, and this will be received and decode. So this is very small PCB board, but uh, this has some different interface on this small board. So that will help you to make some uh, IoT project, but it's very small. Okay, thanks for watching.